Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about that how many type of fractions are there. First of all, we are talking about proper and improper fractions. When I say proper fraction, it is basically a part out of one. For example, I am talking about a number three upon four. As I already told, fractions are basically in the form of this, where the upper part is known as numerator. and the lower part is known as denominator so when i am talking about the proper fraction then the numerator must be less than the denominator if in case we have one object which is divided into four parts and out of these four parts either we are taking one part or we can say one upon four or we are taking two parts or i am saying 2 upon 4 or we are taking three parts to which i am saying 3 upon 4 all these are known as proper fractions where this is a part of only one object when we talk about improper fraction then the numerator is greater than the denominator it can be 9 upon 4 it can be 7 upon 3 it can be 5 upon 3 where the numerator is greater than the denominator is known as improper fraction but this improper fraction is also known as mixed fraction because this can be converted into if i divide 9 by a value 4 then 4 to the 8 carries 1 so this can further be written as 2 1 upon 4 or i am saying two whole parts are there and out of four parts in the third one we are taking one part if i say 7 upon 3 this if we divide we can get it 2 1 upon 3 here i am getting it 1 2 upon 3 so this 2 this 2 and this 1 is a whole number and this is basically the fraction now when i am saying 2 1 upon 4 this is one complete object then second complete object then out of four portions of the third object we are taking only one portion so if i am dividing the first object and the second object into four parts each i am taking 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 this is the ninth portion so i am saying 1 1 and this is 1 upon 4 so totally it amounts to 2 1 upon when i'm saying 2 1 upon 3 so i'm saying the one complete object then again one complete object and in the third object there is one portion out of the three portion we are taking so this is the meaning of 2 1 upon 3 when i'm talking about 1 2 upon 3 it is the one complete object plus out of the three portions in the second object we are taking two portions this is 1 2 upon 3 this is the meaning of improper or the mixed fraction now we have to be very clear about what the equal fractions are when i am saying there is a number 1 upon 2 so my point is out of one body which is divided into two parts we have taken the complete one part this is the meaning of 1 upon 2 suppose to the same body we are dividing into four portions this is the first portion second portion third portion and fourth portion and out of these portion we are taking two portion this is also same as one portion out of two or this we can say two portion out of four suppose again i am saying that this further divided into other portions so the complete body is now divided into four portions eight portions and out of these eight portions we are taking four so four out of eight is also so these all are equal fractions 1 upon 2 is equal to 2 upon 4 or 1 upon 2 is equal to 4 upon 8 or i am saying if we multiply the numerator by any number and we multiply the denominator by the same number then the fraction remains the same 1 upon 2 If I multiply by seven and seven, it becomes seven upon fourteen. So this is also equal to seven upon fourteen. 
So whenever we multiply the numerator and denominator both by constant number, any number that can be, this is considered to be the equal fractions. Now, once we talk about fractions, it is also important how to add or how to subtract the fractions. And in addition and subtraction part, we should understand the like fraction and unlike fraction. Like fractions are very simple because if I say 1 upon 4 or I say 2 upon 4 or I say 3 upon 4, in which the denominator is same everywhere, then it is known as the like fraction. And it is very simple to add a two like fractions. Suppose I am saying this is the portion 1 out of 4 and this is the portion 2 out of 4. Because we have converted this into 4 parts, this into 4 parts. So one part we are adding into 2 parts, it becomes 3 parts out of 4. If I am saying adding these two, it becomes 3 out of 4. So for addition and subtraction, we have to basically see the like fractions. Unlike fractions are the one where the denominators are different. It is 1 upon 2, 1 upon 3. So these two fractions are known as unlike fractions. If we try to visualize 1 upon 2, it is dividing a body into two parts and taking one part out of it. If we say 1 upon 3, then we are dividing a body into three parts. And out of three parts, we are taking one part. So this part is different from this part. So we cannot add or subtract them directly. And to this we have to convert into like fraction which we will discuss in the next video. Thank you.